It's always good to know that people are watching what we're producing here on BT Daily. Steve, we have another comment that's come in off of Facebook. Yeah, this comment came in yesterday, and it was pretty straight to the point. It says, get with it, guys. Look at the bigger picture. Don't worry what other people do. If they love Christ, that's all that matters. Don't judge unless you're perfect in every way, free of sin. So they were pretty straightforward in that. And there's quite a few things in this particular comment that, that we should probably talk about. It'll take more bit. than one episode to, to uh, cover that. Yeah, but maybe we ought to zero in on if they love Christ, that's all that matters. Is, is that the case? What, what, do you, what do we think about that? Well, it is important to love Christ. Uh, there's no Probably question the most about important that. thing to begin with. You've Abs got to. Absolutely. It's the how that we love Christ that really is important, and we want to do it from a scriptural foundation and a scriptural basis. Probably uh, a good place to begin is uh, in 1 John chapter 5 and verse 2, where it says this, By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep His commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments, and His commandments are not burdensome. It's very straightforward there. Do you love Jesus? If you love Jesus, that's not the end in itself. You've got to have that. There is no doubt about it. But what does it lead us to do? The love of God, the love of Jesus Christ, has to compel us to do something. Christ said that over and over again to the disciples. He said, follow me. So just being there, just loving Him wasn't enough. It had to turn into an action. And that's the problem with a lot of modern concepts about religion and a relationship with God and with Jesus Christ, His Son, is that love is all that matters, but the Bible shows that that love has to be translated into actions, and there's no plainer statements than the fact that that love of Christ, that love of God, the Father, leads us to want to obey what He is, what He says to do, and His way of life. Yeah, I think a, a, an easy way to understand this is, is if you put it in the context of a family, because God is our Father, Jesus Christ is our elder brother. And as we're called into the family, we love the family, ultimately the love of God is what we all want, but being a part of the family means there's family responsibilities. And so in any family, there's responsibilities that have to be carried out, and the kids have responsibilities. So as children of God, we're called to love the father, love our elder brother, but then there's also responsibilities in exhibiting that love, in, in doing the things that are pleasing to God. And that's the way the family of God works. It works according to the commandments, the Ten Commandments, all ten of the commandments of God. They express love toward God and love toward man. That's a practical thing. So that's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.